Hi there craft friends, Louise with you today and on behalf of Kidaholic Kits, I am sharing a video stash busting sprays. So what I'm giving you is 10 ways with sprays. I've collected a couple of um, elements that I'm going to use. So the first one is watercolour paper and then I've got this sort of canvas paper, that's the one that was um, cut in half. So this little piece is actually the watercolour piece of paper. Now I just buy these in pads from my local discount store. And what I really wanted to do was see how these um, sprays responded um, to the different types of um, mediums that we can use. So in this case, that watercolour paper, it tends to sit a little bit on top of the paper initially. As you can see, I'm sort of um, blending it in and then I'm using some paper over the top to actually um, collect some of that extra spray that's sitting there. But when it dries, it really does dry to a fantastic sort of different, very different different colouring to um, what normal paper does. So it really is um, worth having a bit of a play around with different um, papers to see what actually happens. Now this is the little um, extra piece that I used. I've cut it down to six by six and what I'm going to do is use my doily cutter to actually turn that into a paper doily. So I just wanted to show you that it is easy to actually use those scrap pieces so to speak of extra um, paper that might not necessarily um, amount to anything in normal scrapbooking terms but cutting them is a great way to use them. Alrighty, so second way to use sprays is over texture paste. So here's just an A4 sheet. I have um, used a stencil with texture paste. Um, I've let it dry overnight and then I'm spraying mixture of water and sprays in different areas to actually highlight that texture paste and um, let, because I haven't pre-gessoed any of the background, I'm going to let the um, spray sink into the background. Now I'm putting that aside to dry and I'm going to show you this um, canvas sort of paper with this third technique which is sprays. So first thing you can do is spray it through the stencil and then what's left over of the stencil you can flip over and use the reverse of the stencil. So I'm first on one side spraying it through the stencil and then turning it over. Now I'm going to do this with a couple of different stencils and I quite like the way this turned out. So it really is just about picking the um, stencils that work best for you, what you like, what your preference is and then you can create something quite interesting and unique for um, backgrounds. But I quite like the um, uh, reverse of this one because I think it's a little bit more subtle than the main um, spraying through a stencil. All right, number five is with a stamp. So what I'm going to do is, um, again, grab a piece of paper, um, spray the spray, if it'll work, directly onto my stamp. My nozzle got a bit clogged, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that out and then just use a pin to actually um, unblock that blockage and then spraying directly onto the stencil so you get that sort of um, uh, messier kind of stamped look and as you can see this probably turned into be one of my favorite backgrounds I love this star stamp but I love that messy stenciled um, sorry messy stamped kind of background all right, number six and seven to stash bust your sprays is with packaging and of course don't forget you can use them for splatters. So another new piece of paper, some empty packaging, spray the spray straight onto the packaging and then move the packaging around across the page until you're happy with the way it looks. So nothing too technically difficult about this one. It's a great way to get a sort of a watercolour look background without actually having to get your um, paint uh, paint brushes out and uh, takes all the hassle out of it too. Then I've added some splatters. Okay, number eight is to use the gel press. So a little while ago in kits we got the gel press plate which I am no expert on but I am trying so I am playing around with a few different ways to use it. First thing I'm going to do is um, take a little bit of the stickles paste to add a little bit of glitter in the background. Again spraying through a um, stencil and then pushing my paper back down onto that. So again, this is a personal preference thing. You want to use as much or as little color as you prefer. And then of course, um, pick up any extras, which includes that little bit of um, glitter that's on there as well. But this background actually turned into something that I really enjoy. 
All right, number nine, coming to the end now. So number nine is you can paint with your sprays. So getting a paintbrush and I like to use stripes. So I paint just um, a white piece of cardstock with a paintbrush and use stripes um, in alternating colors just to get something nice and interesting and easy. A nice um, way to use sprays and create your own background layers if you need to. All right, number 10 is to use sprays in your art journal. So this is probably the longest part of the video because I am going to show you the whole art journal process. First thing I'm going to do, I have pre- um covered my page with uh, gel medium so that I have something to work with here and I'm painting on there um, onto the art journal and I, again I'm not an art journaler I'm more of a scrapbooker so I kind of just wing it when I'm art journaling I do what I love and I hope that you would do the same too um, in terms of what you know create what makes your heart sing so in this case I'm using the blue and the pink to combine and get this um, background color which as you can see it's dried quite an interesting way um, because of that gel medium I'm going to use stencil over the top and then I'm going to add some stamping this is again um, you know I'm not an art journaler I'm basically just doing what I like to see um, in my art journal and that includes uh, I like a light sort of journal I don't like too much dark color I like it to have some white space now all the products that you can see are actually ones that we have had in kits previous so if you've been a subscriber for a little while you will have all of these things so you will have the stencil you will have these paints if you're getting the mixed media kit um, you will have um the sprays from this month's mixed media kit all of this is um i tried to focus the stickles uh, everything in this video is stuff that came in previous kits now these are little exclusives so they are cut aparts that we got when we went to retreat which I absolutely adore so you can see I've added some paste with the same stencil I've used in the background and I've um, added a couple of butterflies and a rainbow and the little journey title there but it still needed something extra I've used my distressed crayon around the outside just to blacken those edges to sort of finish this off and bring it to its final point um, and now I'm just painting some gold around those elements to highlight them and just bring that paste through a little bit but I really like the color combination here I think the blue and the purple and the pink and the little pops of color that we get going on here a um, little bit of gold around the outside as well all really works so nicely together and I'm quite proud of this art journal page considering I'm not an art journaler as such Finally, once this is dried overnight, I'm going to just add again a little bit more texture and interest. This is also one of the items we got in a kit previous, so you will have access to this as well, but that's just giving it a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of something extra. So that is my 10 ways with sprays. If you've lasted this long, thanks for sticking around. I hope you're inspired to get out your sprays and